Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm using the coaster holder mold, this gallop mold from Molds and Shapes. So, and I will be using the resin inks from Stef Stefanie Etta, and I will be using the colors, um, let me think, Caribbean, Indigo, Gonzo, and Sangria. So I filled up my mold with the B20 resin from Dippon and I'm just taking a few little things out which were in the mold. Yeah, there's always something, you know, especially when you have a cat, you know, you always have to see and anyway, I gave it a quick torch and here again, please always be careful with the torch. So first I'm using the Caribbean on the bottom. Then I'm using the, now I need to think about it. I think it's the Gonzo or is, no, it's the Indigo. Uh, I always get confused with these two colors. Please bear with me. So next is the Gonzo. And I'm also dropping little drops in there. Yeah, I want to make a rather bright and colorful pour. And finally, I'm using the Sangria. Just at the outer shells, the more shells or the, the um, how to say this in English? In German, it's a Bogen, a Muschelbogen. Anyway, and I'm dropping only one color into those little holders for the coaster holder just to use up my my leftover resin and now i'm pouring out of the cup i mixed the angel white pigment paste from Lures, which i received from laura's art corner and i'm just following the pattern so i'm rather pouring thick because I want to achieve some depth and also that the petals are getting closed so I'm expecting to have some blobs but we will see I just thought I I pour rather thick sometimes you test around and yeah to see how things are moving how the results are gonna be and I'm also pouring rather thick lines into those little feet of the coaster holder. And I'm trying to use up all my white resin. You see, I just go how I feel. Now I'm following the outside pattern. And now I'm going a little bit inside. And now I needed to take a toothstick because I didn't have one. So I needed to go to the kitchen and I'm drawing only the lines of the scallop. I'm really curious how this is going to work out. So, yeah, it's actually really a testing video. And a final swirl only at the bottom of the shells. I didn't, uh, of the scallop. I didn't um, put any um, shells into the mold and for those little, little um, feet, I only follow also the scallop pattern. By the way, the mold is from Molds and Shapes, as you probably know. And yeah, I just linked them into my description box. If you use the promo code PT5, you get 5% discount anyway demolding time so I'm very curious I'm sorry already I'm a little bit offline but um, yeah you will see the the result yeah I, I'm, I'm not really in camera showing you those little features but you can see it maybe from there and this is the final result of the scallop it's a little bit blobby as I expected, but look at the depths. I really adore the depths. So 
just let me know if you like it and give me a thumbs up. And if you are not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. All of this would help me very much. Take care, guys, and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.